in a recent expose on the actions of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle during their visit to Harlem, New York, it has come to light that the couple, also known as the Sussexes, employed their influence to an extraordinary degree. The revelations are based on an 11-page document obtained through a Freedom of Information Act request, shedding light on their behind-the-scenes efforts to shape their public image during a series of high-profile engagements recorded for a Netflix documentary. The couple's visit to Harlem was meant to be a showcase of their commitment to philanthropy and social causes, but the documents reveal a different story. The Sussexes reportedly made a litany of unusual requests to ensure a seamless visit, including demands for cushions, new carpets, and outdoor space for their filming at a public school in a low-income area of the city. Emails obtained by the Daily Mail suggest that personnel associated with Archwell, the Sussexes charitable foundation, played a significant role in selecting the schools they would visit revising press releases to make them more favorable, and even altering the public diary of senior school administrators. The press list for their events was carefully controlled, with invitations extended only to sources that supported Meghan, such as Vogue, while British tabloids were notably excluded. It appears that the primary objective of this visit was to promote Meghan's book, The Bench, with a veneer of philanthropy added for good measure. The emails indicate that representatives from Penguin Random House, the book's publisher, were actively involved in the planning, raising questions about the true nature of the visit to the low-income school and whether it was primarily a platform for promoting the book. Three days before the Sussex's arrival, Archerwill representatives contacted the New York City Department of Education, seeking permission to film and requesting that the release form be reviewed by lawyers. This suggests a high level of control and coordination over the visit. Furthermore, students and staff at Harlem Primary School were required to sign consent forms for filming, which included clauses prohibiting them from discussing the project or making unfavorable statements about the celebrity couple. The documents also reveal that McGann's representatives were intentionally vague when asked about the purpose of the footage suggesting a deliberate lack of transparency in their dealings. It's worth noting that McGann's previous attempts at legal action against individuals who criticized her actions have not always been well received, as evidenced by her efforts to sue a low-income parent from Harlem who characterized the visit as thinly veiled promotion for her book. The news release from the publisher was altered to emphasize that Archerwill was working with Procter & Gamble to provide personal health and hygiene products to the school, rather than portraying the consumer product giant as a charitable partner. This modification may raise questions about the extent of Procter & Gamble's involvement in the philanthropic efforts. In summary, the FOIA released documents shed light on the Sussex's meticulous planning and control over their public engagements, raising concerns about their true intentions during their visit to Harlem. The documents also suggest that the couple's activities may not have lived up to the public image they sought to cultivate, with questions arising about the fulfillment of promises made to the school and the authenticity of their philanthropic efforts. It is clear that these revelations have the potential to challenge the perception of the Sussexes as champions of social causes, particularly in the eyes of royal enthusiasts.